Hi guys, in this video, I am going to give an overview of the differences between free versus bound testosterone. Free testosterone is the form that interacts with cellular receptors. Unfortunately, only a small amount of testosterone actually exists in a free state. The majority of testosterone, testosterone is bound to the protein SHBG, which is the sex hormone binding globally. It is also referred to as sex steroid binding globally. The distribution of testosterone in men is 45% of testosterone bound to the SHBG, which is the sex hormone binding globulin, and 53% bound to the albumin. The remaining 2% of the average blood concentration exists in a free and bound state. In women, the percentage of free testosterone is lower measured to be approximately 1% as only a small percentage of free testosterone is really active at any given time. The amount of free testosterone available in the blood is an important, important factor in uh, mediating its activity. This is also true for any testosterone derivative or new anabolic androgenic steroids. This is why the affinity of any derivatives or new anabolic androgenic steroids for plasma protein is important. The higher the percentage of free steroid in the blood, the more active it should be on a milligram per uh, four milligram basis. But the variance between different compounds can be substantial. For example, proviron, the other name is 1-methyl dehydrotestosterone, binds with SHPG many times more strongly than testosterone. But mibolarone, 17 dimethyl nadrolone and bolesterone 17 dimethyl testosterone show virtually no affinity uh, for this protein at all, which is why the steroids are such potent androgens. The level of SHBG present in the blood is also variable and can be altered by a number of factors. The most prominent seems to be the concentration of estrogen and thyroid hormone present in the blood. As estrogen and thyroid content decrease, SHBG levels decrease, and vice versa. A heightened andro androgen level uh, due to administration of anabolic androgenic steroids has also been shown to lower level of SHBG. Uh, this is clearly supported by a 1989 German study which noted a strong tendency for SHBG reduction with the oral anabolic steroid sanazolol, which other name is Winstrol. After only three days of administration, a daily dose of 0.2 mg uh, per body weight, about 80 mg for 200 pounds man. SHBG decreased nearly 50% in normal subjects. Similar results have been obtained with the use of injectable testosterone and ate. However, milligram 4 mg, the effect of stanozolol watch was much greater in uh, comparison. The form of administration may have been important in reaching this level of response. This show a much greater response in SHBG levels when the drug is given orally. This is perhaps explained by the fact that SHBG is produced in the liver. A number of stories, including the hydrotestosterone, proviron, and oral uh, turnabol display a strong tendency for this effect. Obviously, if testosterone find, finds it more difficult to locate available plasma protein in the presence of other steroids, more will be left in an unbound state. If the level of free testosterone can be altered by concurrent use of different anabolic uh, androgenic steroids, it may be possible to increase the potency of testosterone through the same mechanism. For example, proviron is a poor anabolic, but its extremely high affinity for SHPG might allow for the displacement of other more potent anabolics into bloodstream and tissues. We must not let this discussion lead us into thinking that binding proteins serve no valuable function. In fact, they play a vital role in in the transport of function of androgenous and androgenous binding protein act to protect uh, the steroids against rapid metabolism, ensure a more stable blood hormone concentration, and facilitate 
and even distribution of hormone to various body uh, organs. The recent dis uh, discovery of a specific receptor for SHBG on the membrane surface of steroid response, body cells also suggest a much more complicated role for this protein than uh, solely hormone transport. However, it remains clear that manipulating the tendency of uh, hormone to exist in an unbound state is an effective way to alter drug potency. I hope this information was educational. Please remember to like and subscribe. I see you next time. Good luck everyone. Para çok önemli. Dolayısıyla...